Hey everyone, it's Strange Michael. I hope you're doing well today. First and foremost, in about two weeks, we're about to get a new Omen movie. The first in like, God, almost 20 years, 18 years at this point. I think the remake came out in like 2005 or 2006. But I got this box set back on my honeymoon about almost four years ago as of this September. And as many of you know, I'm working through my backlog of movies for everything, including horror. And this is one of the things I just never saw. I've never been a fan of the series because I've never seen the movies. I've only seen the remake back in the day on DVD rental with my family. Saw bits and pieces of this original movie I'm about to talk about with you. But I've never seen the full film of any of them aside from the remake. And there are four films that precede that remake in this set. And I have part one right here. I have the rest right in here. Let me tell you, this Blu-ray scan for this stuff is phenomenal in case you thought about picking up this box set. Really, really cool set. And anyway, we're talking about the 1976 original directed by Richard Donner, the director of Superman 1 and 2, and of course his Superman 2 got pushed into a director's cut that didn't release until a few years ago. Um, the original film here is called The Omen, starring Gregory Peck, who I love from To Kill a Mockingbird, a phenomenal actor, and he's phenomenal here too. Basically, Gregory Peck stars in this movie as an American ambassador for the UK, and he moves to the UK with his wife and the recently adopted baby that they picked up, um, who is named Damien. And Damien, some weird things begin to happen to him as uh, he gets older, and to the family too, but especially surrounding Damien, with weird nannies that get uh, kind of obsessed with him, different people that get obsessed with him. Uh, and a photographer happens to take notice of what's going on here and begin to kind of stalk the family, if you will, taking photos of different people connected to Gregory Peck's character. Maybe he shows up at parties as press uh, to take pictures of, like, Damien's birthday parties and stuff in a very creepy way, but what it evolves into is very threatening. It's a very threatening situation because there is the possibility that Damien, the little kid, may possibly grow into becoming the Antichrist from the Bible in the Book of Revelation. And I knew that was the concept of this series, but I had never seen the movie, so I was kind of intrigued by that because I am a Christian, I love the Bible, um, I don't read it as much as I should, I'm not a good guy like I should be, not that I think anybody's good, but I like the liberties they took of trying to change certain things, not even change so much as they did, we're going to take this and make it an idea of this instead. Like, for example, The Mark of the Beast, I think it was very interesting what they did as a change of liberty in this movie about that. There's a lot of cool things they delve into with that, even though we're mostly focused on Damien being a small boy in this film, and as the series progresses, he grows up more and more. But as a Christian, I thought some of the liberties they took for this was pretty rad for the most part. Uh, very interesting little movie, and let me tell you, it's beautifully shot, the sets are wonderful, but it has an atmosphere that looms over this movie that genuinely scared me a little bit. It kind of creeped me out. There are some great jump scares in here. There is this one nanny in here that her face alone creeps me out so bad. There's <laughs> just something about her, the way she carries herself, the way she kind of just walks around kind of hiding sometimes around the house. She is super eerie, but Gregory Peck and the lady playing his wife, I thought both of them were really, really good here. And even Damien, the little boy, when he actually has a speaking line, he does a pretty good job. Uh, there's something about that kid that makes him so much eerier than he should be. Um, it's just, it really works, and I'm not really sure why it works so well. It's gotta be Richard Donner's creativity working so well on this movie to make it so effective. But there's a lot of things I didn't know about this movie. For example, I did not realize how bloody this movie could get. Now, after seeing the first two movies back-to-back -back over the last couple of days over the weekend, I can assuredly tell you this is basically a slasher franchise. But not really, but kind of. Kind of in a Final Destination way, but without death, it's more of like weird things Damien might be doing, you know? Uh, and I thought that was awesome, man. Very well done. The blood in this film, specifically with one scene involving glass, Jesus, dude. Oh my god. There was one scene, too, about somebody getting up on top of a house at a party. Dude, the chill that ran down my spine. I remember seeing that as a kid on AMC Fear Fest back in the day. It was one of the few clips I saw of this movie back when I was a child. That scene, that chill of something I had forgotten, like a trauma almost, coming back to me, hit me so hard, dude, when I was over here on the couch watching it. Creeped me out so bad, dude. You have no idea. The Omen is super effective. It's super well written. It's beautifully acted by everybody down to the photographer actor who kind of has to end up working with Gregory Peck. And I love the fact that from the get-go, the wife 
feels like something is off about Damien. And Gregory Peck is like, no, it's just, you're being too much. You're being weird. You're annoyed. He's in the house all the time. You're cramped in the house all the time. Just let it go. Let me handle it a little bit. But he's so busy with his job, he can only do so much. He doesn't see a lot of the things that his wife is complaining about. And it's fascinating seeing the direction they go with all of this stuff. But it's kind of a sad movie by the end of it. There's a lot of sad stuff about it that makes me feel for Gregory Peck so much. And there almost feels like this ticking clock element as the movie goes on. By the end of it, you're kind of so tense because of how things are moving so quickly for Damien and Gregory Peck and what's going on with them. It's pretty fascinating. I really didn't think this movie was going to be amazing like a lot of people make it out to be. But so far, easily, I don't see how anything could top this movie. The second film that I just watched did not top it, but it was good for what it was. I'll review that coming up after this video. But The Omen, the original 1976 classic, for almost a two-hour runtime, this thing zooms by with how great and tight the storytelling is. I love that about it. But anyway, I don't have anything else to say as far as I know. The practical effects I guess I could cover, they look wonderful for the practical gore effects and stuff despite there not being much gore in the movie when it's there it's effective man and part two had even more of that by the way which was kind of wild to me again it's basically a slasher franchise like final destination before final destination existed but anyway the omen from 1976 if i had to rate this film on a five star basis i would easily give this a five out of five stars this is so incredibly well made and well executed in every way possible i recommend it to everybody despite whether you're a christian or not doesn't matter this is a phenomenal movie everything about it is phenomenal and it's respectful too which was kind of weird to me i'm not used to you know christian things being brought up into any kind of horror movie or movie at all nowadays and uh, finding any kind of real respect in there as if what if this does happen you know it's fascinating really really fascinating stuff that i thought was a blast to watch so i recommend it to everybody i think everybody would find some kind of enjoyment in here especially if you are a slasher fan because there's some eerie stuff in here even if you don't like slasher stuff the atmosphere looming over the movie like i said is very effective and that's coming from somebody who does not like a lot of 1970s movies i'm not a fan of most of the things i've seen from the 1970s music movies anything like that this is one of those things that really stands out heavily. So anyway, five out of five stars for the original Omen. Have you seen it? What do you think about it? Do you think it's uh, great? Do you think it's the best one in the series? I'm sure most people do. Put all your thoughts and comments down in the comment section down below. And let me know too, are you excited for the first Omen movie coming out very soon? I'd love to hear all that too. Thank you all for watching, guys. God bless you all. Catch you in the next review for part two and so on and so on. God willing, God bless you. Goodbye.